Hey, it's Rochelle Cornish, and I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about the emotional cycle of sales. We're going to be covering that today in this short video. Everyone goes through the basic same emotional cycles of sales. Here they all are, excitement, frustration, doubt, creative avoidance, and recommitment. Let's touch on these each individually. The first stage is excitement. You have hope. You have positive energy. Everyone believes in you. You are so motivated and you have giant goals. You may have just received your kit or your fast start rewards. You're just so incredibly excited about what you are doing and about your business. Well, excitement is good and well, but every single one of us eventually moves from excitement into frustration. And it could be any number of things that put you there. It could be any kind of challenge. You could be exasperated. You feel defeated, overwhelmed. Maybe you have few or no bookings or cancellations, no recruits. You didn't meet your goals. Either way, Every single one of us has been to this level of frustrated before, including myself. It's not a fun place to be. Frustration leads to doubt. Doubt is also not particularly fun because you lose confidence. You tend to place blame. If only my upline did this, or if only my hostess did this. You're looking for reasons to quit, and sometimes you even ask, why am I doing this? We move from doubt to creative avoidance. Y'all, creative avoidance is where I live. I hang out here because what you're doing is you're doing anything to avoid even thinking about your job. You do more work of another kind. You find reasons not to be successful. You tell yourself that you're too busy. You make excuses and you give up on your goal and you settle for giving up on your goal. Creative avoidance puts us in a place where we have to choose, am I going to give up or am I going to do this? And this leads us to my very favorite stage, recommitment. This is where you have an aha moment. You remember why you started this in the first place. You really experience some kind of life change, a small victory, some sort of catalyst and this gets you running again. It's a moment where you decide to keep going. You can't wait to feel that excitement and when you take action, that leads you right back to excitement where we started. And this is a different kind of excitement. Maybe you attend an event or you earn a reward, you meet a new contact who is so excited about trying Jamberry and you are right back where we started. You're excited, you can't wait, nothing can defeat you, you have giant crazy goals and you are running and it's a fun place to be. Excitement is so much fun. Anyway, I hope that gives you some insight into the emotional cycle of sales. Regardless of where you are right now in that cycle, remember you're gonna come around to recommitment and you're gonna come around to excitement again. So just hang in there dig in your heels and remember why you started in the first place. Thanks for listening and I wish you the very best of luck in your Jamberry business. Bye ladies.